there are a lot of confusing rankings for Florida schools. Are they 8th or 49th? Education Week's 2010 Quality Counts Report ranks Florida schools the 8th best in the nation, up from 10th place last year. Governor Charlie Crist was quick to jump on the change. Education Week's Quality Counts raised our ranking yet again, from 10 to 8. It continues to move forward year after year after year. Christ and business leaders had already scheduled an event to tout the Council of 100's goals for improving education. One key participant, former Governor Jeb Bush, praised the governor for the Education Week ranking, but sounded a warning. Right now, uh, we're behind 16 other states, including Mississippi and Alabama, that require at least biology for high school graduation. In fact, Florida's trailing in the race to prepare students for life after high school. Right now, we're behind 23 states to align our high school standards with expectations of college and the, work, and the workplace. Bush isn't the only one raising questions. Prior to the move from 10th to 8th, Worst to First, an organization founded by former Governor Lawton Child's son, asked students to create videos contesting the ranking. Here's some of their work. Does this really add up? Get the facts. Florida ranks 47th in high school graduation rates. 63 percent of 10th grade students are not reading at grade level. In Florida, an average of 578 high school students drop out every day. Florida ranks 50th in per capita spending on education. So just how good are Florida schools? That's the question this week on Facing Florida. Joining me now, Lawton Childs III, better known as Bud, uh, the founder of Worst to First. Give me a sense. What's going on with the school ranking, Bud? Well, there's a lot of what my father used to call he heifer dust that's uh, spread around w with respect to that. Uh, I mean, I can tell you from personal experience, Mike, I, I have spent 250 miles retracing part of what my dad walked around the state. I've been all across North Florida and across a lot of the I-4 corridor now. I've been in dozens of schools, uh, elementary schools, preschools, middle schools, high schools, and uh, we're in bad shape in Florida. Uh, it's not the teacher's fault. We're not fault. eight. We're not eight, no. It was not the teacher's fault. No. No, the teachers are doing an amazing job. In fact, I hold up teachers. Uh, you know, our society's changed, and teachers are now not just teachers, but they're expected to be uh, sub-parents and truant officers and coaches and, and perform roles that society used to perform in the past. A uh, lot of burden on teachers now. When my wife is a teacher at the community college here in Tallahassee, and I know for a fact that half the kids that come into that college are not ready for college-level work. That seems to me that the high schools are failing us. Right. Right. I mean, the statistics show this out. We, on our website, worstofirst.org, we've made a no-spin zone so that a, a student or an advocate or a community leader can quickly go and see where do we stand vis-a-vis -vis our southern states, national averages. You know, what, what are the important rankings for Florida that people need to be aware of? So how do you fix what you perceive to be wrong? Well, I, I think that we've got to go back to what's working at the local level. And, you know, I, I have to say, I don't think people have a lot of trust in the state government right now. Uh, the money that they're sending to the state, we are not getting the outcomes, the, the outcomes for children, the outcomes uh, for human services that we need. Uh, and so I, what we really need to do is keep more money and more authority in the local communities where we have working solutions. How do you do that, though? I mean, you know, everybody's strapped. I, everybody's cutting their budgets. Right. Well, I think... What you have to do is stop investing in failure and start investing in success. We are spending billions of dollars in our budget on failure, locking teenagers up, remedial programs for education, emergency rooms where we could have public health clinics with preventive care. We've got to get on the front end, as Lawton Childs, my father, used to say, how can you have a successful state unless you raise successful children? We've got to invest in successful children. Since my dad left office 10 years ago, the state was spending 65 cents of the education dollar from the state. Now we're spending 45 cents. Nobody knows that. Nobody knows that the state has given education that kind of haircut and pushed that cost back to local government. And that's indeed why local property taxes are so high. Why property taxes have gone up locally. All right, so when you say investing wisely, for example, the, uh, the, the example I use, the, the remediation at the community college level, that's a $150 million price tag for the state of Florida every year. Right. If right. you gave that money to high schools, would it be better? Right. And, you know, it doesn't start just in high school. We've got to get on the front end of the curve. I mean, there's just no question that uh, a pre-K program that's a nine-month program for four-year-olds four is not going to cut it, where we don't even have uh, college graduates teaching those courses. We have one of the lousiest funded uh, and professionally accredited 
pre-K programs in the country. And we've got to get, you know, the kids that are coming into first grade emotionally healthy and ready to, to succeed in school. Give me a sense, how are you involving these kids that we saw in the videos? Well, we had a, a Lawton Childs Leadership Corps in August in, uh, in Orlando at UCF. President Clinton came and spoke, and uh, Senator Martinez from the Republican side, Senator Graham from the Democratic side, and Nelson were the co-sponsors. Uh, so we talked for two days with the kids from high schools and colleges all over the state about these statistics, about how to get involved. There's so many incredible tools, as you know now, digital tools, where they can make videos and blogs and buddy stuff. press and web, uh, and, and they are doing that all over the state now. All right, Bud, thank you very much for taking time to talk with us. I wish we had more time. Uh, everyone else stay with us. When we come back, we'll switch from the classroom to high-speed rail.